Hello, and welcome to another Sleepy Dog video. This is part four of the Lower Copy Pavement Project to give you an update of what's going on out here. Uh, there'll be one more, part five, and that will complete the series. But as you can see from the last video, we've got full width of pavement. We've got a lot of driveways, sidewalks down. Now, before anybody says anything, I know I'm driving the wrong way, but I, I'm being careful. So over here on the right, we've, we've still got some cleanup work to do. Got piles of dirt over here to be removed. Now, the next thing that's gonna be done here, they've got some grass, but they've gotta seal all the joints all the no load transfer joints, all the uh, dummy joints. Uh, the dummy joints are for controlled cracking. We've still got some of these SETs to place. And as you can see, all the low profile concrete barriers are gone. And still have quite a bit of, of stuff to uh, haul off a bunch of old RCP. And here we've got uh, transition to go in it's already cut to grade. Now, all these stakes that you see on the side of the road, those are where the trees are going to be planted. And you can see there's a blue and a uh, kind of a, a pink ribbon. That's where the trees go. But underneath it, you can see there's a different color. There's a yellow or a red, and that indicates the type of uh, tree that's going in. The red is going to be a red maple, and the Yellow is going to be an oak tree. We've got five different types of trees. Now we're down here, the grass is on the left side. There's no grass on the right side yet. Probably, job will probably be substantially complete in about two more weeks. Here's another transition that uh, has been cut. Now this fence over here on the right has to come down. We've got a couple of small detention ponds to put in over there. And as you can see, I'm not the only one that's driving the wrong way. Let me get back over here. So it's starting to look look pretty good. Uh, they've been spending some time sweeping the street, but you know the the street's a little over a mile and a half long, and you know when you have a street sweeper, it it, it takes a while to, to sweep the streets. And especially yesterday, we had 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. Uh, we still have a few driveways that we have to put in. This driveway right here, uh, that's gonna be a problem. You can see the grade separation. You can see the grade difference is about two and a half feet. So that's gonna be quite a problem. And we're still driving, we're driving westbound. And we've got full width of pavement in, but now, uh, we only have half the street in here from this point. We've got probably about 900 feet to go and then we'll have all of the uh, pavement in. So what we're driving on now has to be excavated down. You can see the pavement on the left. That's the, uh, the grade and it's about two and a half foot difference. I'm gonna pull over, I'm, I'm going slow. I've got some vehicles behind me. So give me a second, let me pull over and let these guys go by. Okay, so it was only one. So we've got still have to fill in this ditch. We forgot to take out the old sidewalk. There's gonna be a new sidewalk in. Uh, as you see on the left side, so the driveways are in. We still need to put in some sidewalk. Still have these transitions to go. Got some storm sewer that needs to be hauled off. Got a lot of dirt on both sides of the road. We've had a lot of rain, so the dump's been closed. So when the dump's closed, the contractor can't get to the dump. And even when the dump is dry, they still won't let them go to the dump unless the road is 100% dry. Uh, once you run up the road, then the, the dump has to shut down. And we got another transition here on the left. Uh, 
got this little bit of pavement from here to Lockwood that still has to be put in, plus what we're driving on. So I'm not gonna drive the wrong way on this next piece. So I'm gonna turn here and I'll pick you up when we get to the other end. Here we are at Hearst Road and Lower Copy, and we're back at the beginning of the job. And as you can see, almost all the pavement poured. We got this little bit right here. Uh, still have the curb on the on the left side. Still have sidewalks. Uh, sidewalks are all in on the right. Still have to come back and do some grading and the grass. Fire hydrants have to be painted. And we have a problem over here. This fence. Let me see if I can let you see. This fence is actually on the city's right of way. So it's got to be moved before we can complete our work. And we still have to put their driveway in. We can't do that until they move their, their fence. And here we are, still double wide, full width pavement, 45 foot. Uh, no curb on the left side. Let me let this car go. And this driveway, they just need to put the steel in. They'll be ready to pour it. Uh, got a, another driveway here. So, so down at this end, the pavement's pretty much complete. Curb, sidewalk, driveways, everything on the right you can see. Uh, they've put the grass, but these people out here just keep driving up on the grass intentionally and I'll show you that as we get a little farther down now this concrete was just poured uh, on Friday now the people drove up on this grass there on purpose and, and keep an eye on the right hand side you'll see where they drive up on the grass and, and tear it up and it's just unbelievable they're just doing it to be malicious and over here too and, and <laughs> look here somebody drove up on that since yesterday but anyway let me let this car go by okay so we're back out here now somebody drove up on the grass and if you look they drove back around the telephone pole and back up into the driveway. And the, you know, they're just tearing it up on purpose. But back to the pavement, all the pavements poured here, got this dirt to haul off, uh, got the curb to go in, sidewalk driveways here. So probably about another eight weeks and they should be substantially complete. Got a little piece of concrete here and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of the videos. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.